It's 80 degrees outside today, and I can tell. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Oh, I'm telling Alex. That's crazy. <laughs> um, and Link is so hot, so I made her. I've been seeing these all over TikTok. These like lick bowls with water and like some peanut butter powder that's like dog grade and a little bit of kibble. She's gonna be so happy. Wanna try something? <laughs> oh, it's sorry. Is that cool? What's in it? It's literally frozen water with like, you know, like her peanut butter powder I have? Oh yeah. And then a little bit of kibble. And I saw on TikTok like, this is just like for them to lick. I know it releases endorphins. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Just like something for her to do. Cause she had a bone, but we can't find the bone. And she's had this bone literally since she, like the day I got her, she got the bone. And we can't find it now. Ooh, good girl. Also, we got a light. Oh, it's too bright in here to see. I'll show later today, but we have said on the podcast literally for the past year, it's middle of May right now. And we moved here June 1st. And this is the first time we're getting a lamp for this room. Oh, you can't really tell. I'll, I'll show you later tonight, but we're really upgrading this place. <laughs> we're finally moving in. We're moving in, guys. We also got new bulbs for this. They're like smart bulbs. Philips Hue, 10 out of 10, but Alex has it like controlled on her phone. And you can let it flicker. Here, let me do oh, it. Oh, it flickers? Yeah, you probably can't tell. We need to do this so at frosted. night. We need to do that at night. That's um, sick though, the flicker effect. Oh, you know what? These won't flicker. Because they're the refurbished ones that we got aren't up to date. They're not like the newest version. Oh. So I got this little mic because I noticed whenever I vlog on my phone, the audio is ass. Especially out in the city. What was that? Especially out in the city. It's like like probably interview. so loud. <laughs> I need to, so sorry, if, this is the first time I'm using it. So sorry if this is like really fucking loud. Like aggressive. Maybe I need to be like out here. Cause I hate those TikToks where it's like, <laughs> oh, we gotta press. Oh, I press, I always do that. I press you press like 11. where we're supposed to go, yeah. Or wait, where we've been. Where we're coming from. It's like a metaphor of your past. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go get matcha lemonades cause it's 80 degrees outside. And we need Bev. Bev. Alex is in flip flops and a little skirt and I'm in like a tank top, but I'm still wearing Uggs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cause they're, they're like my easy. I'm gonna wear them all summer. They're just my easy slip-on shoes. Like sandal Uggs. Sandal Uggs with like the toe split? Yeah. Thongs. Chunkless. <laughs> Chunkless. <laughs> but in sheepskin? That's awful. God, I hate thinking about how my Uggs are sheepskin. Yeah. I feel super guilty. Yeah, but like you have leather bags and stuff. What? <laughs> Wait, this big rig's trying to turn a corner. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Oh, I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him. Oh shit, he broke the thingy. Look at the <gasps> whole sign Oh is my curved. god. Oh, I hope he's okay. Oh my god, should we steal it? This? Yeah, sick. sick. Come back to me. In the living room? Sick. Who needs a lamp when you can get a street sign? <laughs> Literally, no one, we, uh, we're just gonna admit it. I'm gonna admit it for us. When we were in Connecticut and we went for that baby oh. shower, the, it was like super off road off the map there was like no cops around no cameras we were in like this like middle of nowhere neighborhood i tried to steal a sign we got out but then a car came so we drove off and we got scared but i really wanted to steal a sign but it's really hard to steal i want auckland. street signs i know we want auckland our old one from north hollywood but it's hard because i think they use special bolts to keep it in so that like joe schmo can't do it with like their toolkit from home depot you know what we should do? We should date a city maintenance guy, get him on our good side, and then he'll give us a screwdriver. I feel like you'll still fall in love with it. Absolutely. <laughs> Whenever we're in deep conversation, but I'm vlogging, I'm always like, wait, hold on real quick. She was like telling me something really juicy, so hold on real quick. Cheers. Cheers. This is so good. We just got back from getting the matcha lemonades, and I think this bowl was a bad idea. It looks like Link got a little sick from it. I think Probably we ate it too quickly. She ate it too quick, yeah. Yeah. It, like, I need to get a bowl where it stays. I guess you know that's what? physics. It needs to stay in the bowl because it came out like a block and I think she ate the block too quick. Our pink bowls are probably a better material because that like metal. Defrost. 
Yeah. How does it stay in the bowl? Super glue. Super glue. Okay, so a layer of super glue and then to your food. Oh, I'm kidding. So I got my Bright Sellers box today. Look how pretty this label is. I put it in the fridge right away because I want to try it. That's very much the extent of my wine passion is how pretty the label is. And every time I see that it's from California, which a lot of wines are, at least from what I've noticed, I'm always like, yeah, I represent. This is from Lodi. I don't, I didn't grow up anywhere near Lodi. Well, kind of, but like not enough to rep it, but I'm still like, look how pretty. By the way, this vlog is sponsored by Bright Sellers. This is my first box in a while and it just feels like Christmas every time. Look at this other label, it's so pretty. Like I would want that as like a poster. These are the wine education cards that each box comes with and these make me feel like I know everything in the world. So one for each bottle and then it tells you a little kind of blurb about the wine, where it's from, what it pairs with, what the main notes are, a little description. This one pairs well with garlic fries. <laughs> tuna chickpea arugula salad or a picnic with friends. There's also this one I want to try. It's a red. Look how cool the label is. That's like what the label looks like on the bottle. This one, black cherry, plum, black pepper, and slate. The black pepper, I was like, whoa. So all the bottles in my box are based off my profile. And when you sign up, you take a seven question quiz that asks you about like certain, like what type of chocolate you like, what type of juice you lean towards, even what type of environment do you like to drink wine in. And then once you finish that quiz, they're able to kind of know your general flavor palette and then they pair you with, no pun intended, they pair you with other wines that they think you'd like. It hasn't missed, that's all I'm saying. I've yet to receive a wine in any of these boxes where I'm like, mm. I'm gonna wait to try this one until Alex is out of therapy. Maybe I should have a glass open for her when she gets out of therapy. Alex can't drink red, makes her nose super itchy, but I can enjoy this. You could choose from 12 different plan options and get 100 plus varietals sourced from 80 plus wine regions delivered right to your doorstep. And if you don't like a bottle, they'll replace it. It's peppery. Oh my God, I just salivated. <laughs> Leanna would like this, oh my God. Thank you again, Bright Sellers, for giving my viewers a limited time offer of $100 off their subscription and a free wine tote. You can click the link in my description to take your quiz. So before before you do an ad read, here's a little take into uh, the creator world. When you do an ad read, they send you a brief that kind of has all your talking points, some background about the brand, kind of what their motive is around the brand story or if it's a specific campaign. And then usually at the bottom, it gives like examples of other creators content to kind of, you know, get inspired by. And one of my videos is on the examples list. I just noticed that. And that just makes me really happy. It's an honor. You know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the lighting right now. There's like this big mirror building outside, like honestly kind of far from us, but it's so tall that this time of the day, the sun hits it and then bing, right into our window, but I kind of like it. So I'm sitting here and I'm ordering stuff for my bathroom because my bathroom is fucking hideous. I love my room, I love all the colors. And then you walk into my bathroom and it's just like ugly. And I spend a lot of time in my bathroom. I take baths all the time. Like obviously I go to the bathroom in the bathroom. Like I spend a good fraction of my life in my bathroom. And that's like the one part of my room that I feel like I haven't really like put any decor into. So I just ordered hella shit on Amazon and I wanna show you guys. I, I want a new rug. So I got this rug. The cherry I think is so cute and I love the shape of it. Like I know you're probably thinking like it's a rectangle. What do you mean? I like that it can lay long ways because my bathroom is more long than it is wide. So it'll read really nicely. And then I got the shower curtain. I think is so cute. It goes with the rug in my room too, which is checkered, but like kind of like wonky checkered. I was between that color and another color. I think it was like a, like a multicolored one, but just the green alone. I think it like makes a little bit more of a statement than like multicolor. And also my rug is multicolor checkered. And I feel like if they're not the exact same multi checkered, multi checkers, they would clash. So I got one that sticks just with one color. God, I feel like I'm doing like a fit on project right now. feels like a presentation. And then I got these little, shower hooks they are so cute this is definitely one of those things where like i do not need this but i want it decorations for your shower hooks like i already have shower hooks but now ugh, it's stupid i think they were like 12 bucks though give me a break and then i got these towels i know there's technically no purple in any of the other things i look at color stories in threes and i feel like the rug 
Yes, it has green, pink, red, and white on it, but it's generally a red piece to me because cherries. And then obviously the shower curtain is green. And then I feel like I needed like a third color for my towels because my towels are exposed. So I feel like they need to be like cute. I was between purple or yellow. The yellow though felt a little bit, the, the color yellow I was looking at was like a pastel and it felt kind of like nursery, like kind of like baby vibes and kind of nautical at the same time, like beach house vibes. So I went purple to stick with the more like, like funky kind of retro jaded color, not jaded, but I don't know. I just feel like it goes with those colors more than yellow would, unless I did like a mustard yellow. A lot of my bathroom is already very warm tone that I wanted to come in with colors that would come completely like cancel it out and purple cancels out yellow so i'm hoping with having those tones in it it'll kind of make my it'll brighten up the space because my whole bathroom is tiles but the tile color is just like hideous and then lastly i got this floor lamp i obviously the picture it shows like three different colors i'll probably just use it one color who knows when i get it i might like it and want to mess around with fun colors but the lighting in my bathroom is just so bad it's like obviously i don't have a window because it's facing the inside of the apartment but i just needed something that can st i'm gonna stick it in the corner to the left of my mirror like to the side of the sink like it, it won't even be exposed but i just need some more like the lighting is just so bad so i got that i i'm not sold on it it's gonna have to work really well for me to keep it, but I wanted to at least try it. I was thinking like doing lighting strips around the perimeter, but I, no hate, we all did it, but I feel like the LED strips just remind me of like quarantine and like everybody putting those in their apartments and their rooms and whatnot. So I just didn't wanna do that. So I got the pole instead. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I'm excited though. All that will be coming I think by Sunday. If it's not in another vlog, I'll, I'll probably be posting on my stories and whatnot. I originally, it was on my second account on Instagram, which is Kristen Maxi LOL. That one, I just post literally like whatever the fuck I want on it. I was sitting in my bathroom and I was like, please send recommendations of what I can do to make this space look better. And I got a lot of people saying like, yo, you need color. Like your room is so colorful. If I showed you my thumb right now, I'm shredding it and picking up my fingers so bad because my nails aren't done and whenever my nails are done i just pick it's kind of gross so don't judge me but it's just like not cute like white boring i like this i'll probably keep this on the um on the wall but everything else is just like boring and you see what i mean it's vertical when you walk in so the carpet will be cute that way i might get rid of this towel thing i just feel like it takes up like way too much space i'm only gonna have four towels now so i feel like they can just go on that rack but i think changing this is gonna be the game changer and then the cherries up there oh my god it's gonna be so cute i also need to get rid of this i'm gonna keep the rack but i just don't need all these big jackets anymore because it's a kajillion degrees outside so i also ordered some vacuum sealed bags so i can like condense them and throw them under my bed or something also everything that i showed from my bathroom i'll put on my amazon storefront which is always linked down below okay trying the white now it's good Ooh, it's good oh oh my god that's really good yeah this would be good with like a light fish. I was gonna say like light fish or like I want like thing. light salty stuff. Yeah. Like an oyster. A Caesar. A Caesar would be good. Should we get Caesars? I have Caesar stuff if you want to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a Bluetooth one of these. So old school. Anyway, I'm trying this thing where I'm not letting my laundry pile up for like three weeks. And I'm saying, I'm telling myself, I have to do my laundry when this little basket gets full because this is the amount of one load and then I won't be overwhelmed when everything is clean and I have to like put it away. This will take me like two seconds to put away. So here we go. This is gross. I really hope nobody comes in because I'm going to be very embarrassed. I've been doing this for um, six years and I can't put my camera straight and I also don't have the balls to film in public. That takes big balls and I'm a girl. I don't got balls. Uh, just kidding. Girls have figuratively way bigger balls and then no offense boys this is the best detergent on the planet if you care what type of detergent i use it's also linked on my amazon storefront but i'm going to be completely honest with you because today is just clearly a day of honesty i don't even know if i have my amazon storefront set up correctly i'm i'm being told left and right from people that like they make like hella money off the affiliate sales 
Bitch, I haven't seen anything. Does that mean nobody's buying my shit? Or does that mean I have it set up wrong? I Probably both. I don't, I don't know. So it is there. I do have everything I use and everything I refer to like in its own little category. I have like multiple folders on there for like home stuff, like fashion, dog stuff, kitchen stuff. Like when I made my storefront, I went through a Hello, why isn't this opening? I went through every purchase I'd made in the past year. So it was all things that I can like genuinely speak to that I like genuinely use every day. And I put it all into different folders and categories and whatnot. And um, by the way, this is the laundry booster of the same brand. It's so good. Uh, I don't even use bleach anymore. This stuff is so good and you can use it on color. Anyway, I went through and I put everything I use, but like, I didn't make any money. We ended up getting sushi and we're taking a few bites and then we have been hooked on this game so we need to get back to work. It's called Human, Human, Fall, Flat. Human Fall Flat. It's so fucking hard and I kind of hate it, but it's one of those games now where I'm like, we just have to get to the next We level. have to see it through. Every single level I'm like, I'm done with this game after this. I say it in my head and then we finish the level and I'm like, let's go. Here we go. I'm scared. Hold on for dear life, Kristen. <laughs> We're just going to the same spot. No. These boards are in the way. We can go down. We need to get to the left on the raft. Uh, uh. We're down where we fucking started regardless. <gasps> are you kidding me? Well, we got that moving, so that's new. Oh. Like something's moving now. Okay, that's what it is. We had to release that thing. Okay. But what is it powering? Hold on to it. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a switch at the very top. Okay, okay, I need to be holding on to that. This side. I'm good. You got up there? I got up there. Fuck, okay. Do you wanna just wait till I get up there? I can oh, get look, it it's gonna start that fan, and then we're gonna get pushed up into the air. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah! Sick! Woo!